Hello boys and girls, it's Roger, Roger Carswell. Do you remember the Lord Jesus once said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Now, the wonderful thing about light, even a tiny little candle like this, is that once the light is showing, even though everywhere around about might be, oops, might be dark, the light breaks through the darkness and it shows us the way that we should go. It shows us what we should do. And really, that's what the Lord Jesus was saying, that I am the light and I'll dispel the darkness and I'll show you the way that you should go. But I'm sure you've noticed this already. There are lots of people who don't like the light of the Lord Jesus. And they've always wanted to try and put him out so that his light isn't showing. So even when Jesus was born, King Herod, who heard about Jesus being born King of the Jews, thought in his mind, hmm, I don't want the light of the Lord Jesus to shine, and tried to kill him. Really, even though Jesus was just a baby. And um, what he was trying to do was <laughs> blow out the light of Jesus. Do you think the light of Jesus went out? No, you watch. He'll continue to shine. He always has done. Now, when he got to the age of 30, he began preaching and teaching and healing and doing wonderful things. He was once in the synagogue and he was reading the Bible and people realised he's saying he's the light of the world. We don't like this. So they tried to push him off a cliff. They wanted to blow out the light of Jesus. But the light of Jesus didn't go out. He just kept on shining. There was another occasion and he was speaking to the crowds and they picked up stones and they were going to stone him to death. But Jesus just passed through the midst of them. Actually, what they wanted to do was <laughs> blow out the light of Jesus. But he just doesn't go out. He just keeps on shining. Even the devil, Satan, wanted rid of Jesus. Once he was asleep at the back of a little boat when suddenly the winds and the waves were stirred up and I think Satan was really saying, I want rid of Jesus, I want to blow out his light. But he just continued to shine. Now you know what happened. Eventually the Lord Jesus was taken to a cross where he was going to die very cruelly. Now when he died, of course, God took our wrongdoing, the bad things that you and I are guilty of, and laid them on Jesus and he paid for them. But as he hung and died on the cross, I think people thought, the light of Jesus is out. But three days later, the Lord Jesus Christ rose again. And you'll see, his light just continued to shine. <laughs> you thought it wasn't going to, but there we are. He's shining, and do you know, the light of the Lord Jesus will shine and light up heaven forever. Now, during the centuries, the many, many years since the Lord Jesus, there have been people who've tried to put out the light of the Lord Jesus shining through his people, through his church. In fact, even in our own country, England, four or five hundred years ago, they were killing people who loved the Lord Jesus. They wanted to put out the light of Jesus. But he continued to shine. And if you've trusted Jesus, if you've asked him to forgive you and live in your heart and life, you'll find that the light of Jesus shines in you and through you to others. And sometimes when you do wrong or you don't pray as you should or you don't read the Bible as you should, Satan will whisper in your ear and say, huh, now the light's gone out. <sighs> but all you've got to do is ask Jesus to wash away your sin and help you to walk with him. And you'll find that the light of the Lord Jesus will just continue to shine in you and through you until he takes you home to heaven where his life and his light will shine forever.